Okay, it's called cool Duke Clem here, who gets uglier by every year, but, um, let's not. Shirt is strangling me. But yeah, but let's not get into that. So, I suppose you're wondering, bloody hell, bloody hell, where have you been? We thought you were all dead. No, I'm still here, I'm still alive. It's just that I've been so busy lately that I haven't even had the time to fart. You know, I've been working with the, um, working on the Star Kids episode 8. Um, yeah, that's still a thing. I'm still working on that. I almost did give up on it, but I am chugging through that. Now, I did want to get that out by Christmas, but that's just, well, that's just not going to happen. I mean, I'm just one person with a bunch of paper and pens and... You know, it takes time. I don't know how other people, how other man animators do their stuff so quickly, but yeah. Also, I've had other projects on, you know, think, like non-YouTube related projects, like doing my music and things like that. Now, I want to get on with a new animated series when the episode 8 is done. In fact, the Star Kids episode 8 is really holding me back. I'm really itching to get on with that new animated series and also get back to the electronics. So I really want to get back to the electronics as well as doing the Star Kids stuff. I mean, the music and the animation. I don't know why, but when I turn the camera on, my mind just leaves and floats off into space. But yeah, so. I've just had so much to do that I just haven't had time to fart and I haven't really been able to upload YouTube videos. I do have one about a voice changer software, I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, I want to do that as well. That's been lingering on my hard drive for the past several months now and I just haven't got around to editing it. Anyway, yeah, so. I'm still working on the Star Kids, episode 8. I don't know when it will be done, but it will be done when it's done. I mean, I'm sort of, like, I'd say two-thirds of the way through doing all the animation now. And, you know, when I've done all the animation, it's going to be, you know, putting all together and adding in the sound effects and the music and that. That's a day or two's work. Anyway, um, yeah. I'll go into a bit more details on stuff I've been doing. Now I know one thing you're asking. Where is the Star Kids episode 8? Well, I'm still working on it. Now, I really wanted to get this out by Christmas, but that's just not going to happen. I've just been too busy with other things. But I'll show you what I've done so far. If you remember um, in the previous... Um, update the Star Kids. Nathan had come round and uh, said it was going to bring everybody to his planet and everything. Well, let's see what we got now. I'll start playing it from here. He's awake! Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I just had the craziest dream. I dreamed that Nathan was here. That wasn't a dream. What? Uh, What's with him? I don't know. Oh, man. Hey, that's my line, man. I'm the one who's supposed to say man, man. Oh, yeah. It was just a shock. It's been such a long time. I never thought I'd see him again. Yeah, your friend told me everything. I didn't know you'd ever been in space before, man. Yeah, we all have. Even went to his planet once, saved it from a black hole. <sighs> Nothing to it. Did we really used to look like that? What? I don't have a photographic memory. Whatever. Anyway, now you're gonna live there. What? We're gonna be living on your planet? Um, yep. Oh, you're not gonna faint again, are you? Seems to happen every time I speak. Uh, no, I'm good, but... We're really going to live on your planet? You sure you don't mind? We've got tons of room. Say, um, Moon? I didn't know you were taking us to Nathan's planet. 
and that they all agreed to it. I must admit I goofed up a little there. I didn't know the race were like living on that planet, but like he said, he's cool with it. He also told me about the wars going down on your ships and how if we don't do something like fast, the clones are going to kill everyone. So, what are we going to do? I think it's about time we paid a certain mad scientist a visit. Are you sure this is a good idea? Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, he is trying to kill us. I was hoping some idea would come to me on our way here, but, eh. Ow! Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't see you down there. What are you doing down there? I'm hiding. From who? From the bad guys. Are you a bad guy? Please don't kill me. Please. Kill ya? Kill ya? Exterminate. Exterminate. No! Hey, chill, bro. It's cool. I was just joking. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a good guy. But I saw you hanging out with the bad guys. Ah, uh, yeah. About that? I was only pretending to be with them, you know, like spying on them, like a secret agent, you know, to get the dirt on them. You wanna get them dirty? It's a figure of speech. I was trying to find out what they're up to. Besides, they can't get any dirtier than they already are, and you didn't choose a very good hiding spot. I found you when I wasn't even looking for you. Yeah, I can't think. Not that that's much different to any other day. But everything round here's gone crazy. We're all fighting each other, and worst of all, Clem's gone totally mad. He's got red eyes, and he started a war, and he says he's going to kill people. He was like a big brother to me. I used to look up to him, and he's let me down. Yeah, I know, mate. It's mad round here. I'll try to explain it to you as best as I can, but I don't think you're going to believe me. Just tell me. All right, all right, don't pee yourself. I was going to tell you anyway. So, there's this mad scientist who hates humans, and he I decided not to animate this part, so I'm just going to skip on. Mad. When he discovered those arc ships, I'm not sure, but yeah, you got it. So, what now? Is Clem a clone too? Is the real Clem okay? Yes, he's okay. The Clem you've been hanging out with is a clone, and he's been posing as your friend for the past few weeks. So what about my Clem? I'm getting to that. He's with the Star Kids, and I'm sure right now they're in the middle of some ingenious plan that's going to save all of you. Well, this didn't help much. That's another fine mess you got us into. And now there's nothing you can do about it. Ah, 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 ah. I've got to work on that evil laugh. I'm not used to one of my plans going so well. Man, you're crazy. Maybe I am. You know you'll never get away with this, right? Of course I'll get away with it. What makes you think I won't? Because you're the villain, and I'm the hero. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I mean, we're the heroes. And heroes always win. We'll see about that. Maybe it's a good thing my clones are going to destroy everyone after all. And then when I'm done with you, there will be no humans left. Ha, 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 ha. But don't you see? Not all humans are bad. I'm one of the good ones. We left Earth and left all the bad people behind. That's why everyone on Earth seemed to get so evil. Because there were no good people left. We had to leave, or it would have spoiled us too. I mean, just look at my little friend here. Would you really want to hurt him? Also, there's a lot of innocent kids on those Ark ships. Some of them as young as Little Red here. Would you really want to destroy them too? Yeah, mister. Why do you gotta be so mean? Oh my god. What have I done? Yes. Yes, I see it. It's all so clear to me now. 
Oh, how could I have been so foolish? Believe me, I've seen the error of my ways, and I will change. In fact, I will help you. But you'll have to help me first. You'll have to help me get back to my home planet. Okay, we'll help. I promise, but I don't know how. You see that contraption over there? It's an escape pod, but it can only be launched from the outside. You help me fix the escape pod, and I'll help you. Really? But what about all the clones you made? They're still gonna kill everyone. I'll prove myself. I'll prove that I've turned around. We'll destroy them. See that lever on the wall? I installed that just in case anything goes wrong. It will destroy every last one of them. In fact, to prove my honesty, I will release you and let you pull it. But aren't you also a clone? You'll be gone too. Do it! I want to end this madness. Do it before I change my mind again. If any part of me does survive, send it back to my planet. There's some stuff missing there, but uh, that will get animated. Oh, look at Little Red trying to move that great big thing, and he can't. So, they built it, and now they're sending Mad's ashes up into space. Because he died. And now we're back in the lab, on Moonbeam Spaceship. It's organic matter, isn't it? I was going to use a live test subject, but couldn't find Ricky anywhere. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, way too much power, man. Looks nicely done, though. Can I take this home for dinner? This is no time to be thinking about food! <laughs> Whoa! What happened in here? Science! Gone wrong! We're trying to make a teleport system, but... Uh... It just keeps frying everything. Problem? This transistor is in the wrong way round. Oh yeah, so it is. Number, Number of times I've made that I mistake. Since when did you know anything about electronics? I'm not as dumb as I look. Looks like we've had a total meltdown. Yeah, but now that Red's turned that transistor around, I think it's gonna work. Yeah! So, let's test it! Pull the lever! No, wait, I think he's in there! Ta-da! It works, guys! Dude, that was way too reckless. You could have killed yourself. But it works, didn't it? Yeah, but uh, what am I going to do with you? What the heck's that? Looks like your ships are getting close to that planet. We have to work fast and get everyone out of there. How are we gonna do that? We'll travel by light. You know, that thing I can do. Ah uh, yeah, but there's just one incy wincy tiny little detail that you've forgotten. We're not starkids. We don't have starkid powers. You will if you grab on. It should turn all of us into light. Okay, anything for a weird life. Wow! That was so much fun! Can we do it again? Please? There's no time for fun and games now, man. We have to build the teleport. I brought the stuff with me. It should have survived. Hold on. If you can do that light travel thing, why not just do that to all of us? You wouldn't even need to build a teleport. I wish I could, man, but I can only move so many people. Yeah, well, like I said... This is... Excuse me? As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, 
I am working on it. As you can see, there was some bits that haven't got animated yet. Doing one of these cartoons takes a lot of drawing. Which is one of the reasons why it's been taking so long. I was actually going to give up on this, but no, I thought, no, I'm going to do this, I'm going to complete this, and I still got a bunch more drawing to do. I had a troll email me, goes by the name of Squinky, and I know you're watching this, I just want to say, I'm just one guy, with a bunch of pens and paper. What do you expect? Disney quality? I mean, come on. Anyway, when I'm finally done with the Star Kids, I'm going to be working on a new animated show. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing the Clement series show back, if anybody remembers that. I've already got lots of audio, you know, voice tracks recorded already. And um, it's not exactly going to be kid friendly, but there's no swearing in it. Um, here's a typical mindless one that I've been working on. And now, here is a day in the life of ten-year-old Ricky. In the morning, Ricky wakes up. to open my eyes in case it's still night. Maybe just one quick little peek. Come on, Ricky. You can do this. Yay! It's morning again. The night's gone. Oh, hi, son. It's so great to see you again. Oh, I better stop staring at you. My eyes are burning now. Rare morning, Ricky. Oh, this is the first time you've ever spoken to me. Hi. Over here. Oh. Hi, Nene. What you doing in my room? I gotta make your bed. I gotta get all the way out. Okay, well, I'm going to the toilet now anyway. All right then, Ricky. No, I mean, I'm going right now. I can feel it coming. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. <laughs> so it comes out so quick. How are you supposed to stop it? Nene, Nene, I've just peed myself. Oh, what's the matter this time, Ricky? Have you just pissed yourself again? Yes, Nene, and I've soaked my pants. Oh, you're a naughty, 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 naughty boy! Ew! My hand's covered in wee! I forgot you'd pissed yourself, now my hand's covered in it! Ricky! For making my hand wet, I'm gonna spank you again! Ricky, you're a naughty, 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 naughty! Ew! Later on, at breakfast. Breakfast, Ricky! Oh, hi, Nene. What's for breakfast? I got your favourite, Rice Krispies. Listen to the noise they're making. Yay! Rice Krispies, my favourite! Oh, didn't mean to do that. Even more later on, after breakfast. Okay, Nene, I'm going out now. Love you. You can't go out there, Ricky! Huh? Why not? It's raining! Rain? Wah! And you've got school today! And I've got to go to school? Wah! Wait a minute. It was sunny earlier. What happened? Well, you know how quickly the weather changes round here. I'm not going out there. That weather's scary. Ricky! Ricky! Where'd you go? <laughs> ah, there you are, Ricky! Huh? How did you know I was in here? There's a puddle of wee under the door. Now you're coming out! No, I'm not coming out of here. The storm's gonna get me. I'm gonna stay in the closet till it's over. I'm not coming out of the closet until it's gone. Nah, you came out of the closet years ago. 
And here's another thing I've been up to. Making chip tunes. Or at least, um, learning Furnace Tracker anyway. I made a little something here. Don't judge me by what I've actually made here. I just thought it'd be a fun song to cover. Let's have a little listen. use a um, SID chip for the this these parts here but um, I just can't get that to work I can get the sounds I want with with a Konami SCC whatever it is okay gonna have to go to my other camera here because the GoPro's run out of space probably should have used this camera all along but anyway I have a new microphone and this is a USB microphone I got recently came with the pop filter in the stand and I use this when I'm doing my voiceovers and when I'm doing my voice recording for the new Clement series show and I record from that onto this cassette deck now you're probably wondering just how I'm doing that and why I do that well I'll tell you what I do is I have this connected up to the computer and I have this set up so whatever goes into the microphone will come out of the computer's line inputs and then go into this cassette deck. I don't really like the way this microphone's high frequency response is. I mean, this has got a ridiculously good high frequency response. And if I do a direct digital recording, I can hear just how hideous my voice sounds. So, I record that onto cassette to kind of try to tame those high frequencies down a little bit and that seems to work really well and also adds that analog warmth and tape saturation and I can monitor through these two mid-range speakers which I've got connected to the tape recorders and headphone output jack and it seems to drive those pretty well I don't know what kind of amplifier chips in there, you know, something like an LM386 probably, or some variation of that. So yeah. Whatever. Me and the gang are good at playing music. In fact, we're going to audition in the school talent contest. Uh, you say you play music. I like music. That's what my neighbour sounds like. Are you retarded? Or just incredibly stupid? I like music, it go. Yep, you are retarded. Oh wait, I forgot you listened to EDM. Sounds exactly like that. And yeah. You'll have to excuse the mess on this bench. Having a time to tidy up. Yeah, I really should have used this camera from the beginning. Anyway, another thing I'm also doing is I'm working on a solo strings instrument library. You might remember the guitar one. Well, now I'm doing a solo strings library because I've been frustrated by the fact that there are just no good solo strings instrument libraries. Well, you know, sample libraries. So, I found this ensemble file for Reactor, which does really good violins and violas. The cello and the bass isn't so good, but it's usable. Let's just move that out of the way. So I'm recording lots and lots of different notes and, you know, different ways of 
you know, different playing styles and everything. I won't go through all of that, but yeah, that's also something that's coming. I have a bunch of samples I recorded from it, as you can see here, which enables me to do this. Let's hear that in a mix. stuff like this. Come on, let's get to the next violin-y bit. You get the idea. Now I know the big question that all of you are asking. Am I going to get back to doing electronics videos? And the answer is yes. Yes I will. But that's going to be when the Star Kids Episode 8 is finally done. I'll have more time to do this kind of stuff. I mean, I want to get back to the electronics, and, you know, I want to get on with my, um, new cartoon series. And, uh, yeah, I want to get on with other things as well, but Star Kids is just occupying so much of my time right now that I just don't have time for them. I mean, I've got a few Tesla coil circuits that I want to try out, but, um, you know, until Star Kids Episode 8 is done, I just, uh, well... I really just don't have the time. But anyway, yeah. So to sum it up, the Star Kids Episode 8 will be done whenever it gets done. I will be getting back to the electronics when that's done. I will be doing a new animated series when that's done. And a few other things as well. So anyway, if you've been wondering just why I haven't been posting videos lately or anything like that, wondering if I'm... wondering if I've died or something, well, now you know. Anyway, that's it for now, so, you know, I've got things to do, so, until next time, goodbye.